How you doing? Ooh. I'm okay. Yeah, I guess the good news is you're not telling me you're okay from a hospital bed, huh? Yeah, I know. I am lucky. Angel's pretty bad with the knife. Yeah. The thing I can't understand is how come he hasn't caught a blade himself by now? Gang leaders and football players, it's a short career. Not Angel. He says he's got the saints behind him. No one can touch him. Mm. He's really mad about what went down with you. I've been hearing things. Like what? Like he's gonna come after you. Like he don't like to get put down. It's like he's gotta make his bones again or something. Yeah, I'll bet. If I put out the word, I wanna meet him there. You know where he is? No one's talking to me. If you want my opinion, this is more than one cop can handle. Danny, you keep forgetting I'm not a cop anymore, man. Then maybe you should start thinking about getting your badge back. So I could call in the cavalry? Yeah, I don't think so, man. See, I'm never gonna get through to the dude or the rest of these guys if I keep coming on like Inspector Castillo. I got a much better shot if I'm just another homeboy. Forget it, Cruz. You know those guys. Once the heat, always the heat. Well, I'll see about that. You'll see yourself dead. That's what you'll see. Yeah, Come on, Cruz. You've worked with Angel's type for years. Do you think you'll really get a chance to talk to him? He'll shoot first and then see what's left of you. Of it. It's just so... Unaffected. Please don't change it. I didn't know that you had such strong opinions about it. Oh, but I do. And not just your hair. I have very definite opinions about these soft, gray eyes. In a room full of people, they, uh, they always draw me back. Make me think of any number of sweet possibilities. And this strong, determined, perfect... And save the best for last. But there's only one way to show you my opinion. With these. Oh, oh I forgot where we were. No one's here. No, no the, the nurse is coming down the stairs any minute, Mason. I'll tell her she's fired. <laughs> What's this? You see how she spurns my attention? All she's interested in is the spoils. It's a present for you. For me? Open it. Oh, Mason, you shouldn't do things like this. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's, um... They. What? They're referred to in the plural. They? Oh. Uh... Oh, these are those, uh... Those things you use for horseback riding, what, what right. are they called? Um, don't, wait, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, Chaps. You told me. Can't wait all day. Well, I can see they're just what you always wanted. Uh, they're real, um, they're just, you know, in the fabric. I love leather. I Good. Just, Put them on and we'll go for a ride. <laughs> You're kidding. No. I know two horses that are saddled and waiting and literally chomping at the bit to go cavorting on the beach with Listen, us. Listen, I can't. You never been on a horse before? Well, when I was a little girl, yeah. Well, there's no but... problem. Yeah. It's true what they say. It all comes back to you. No, but I have to work at the clinic tonight. You have time. I know the schedule, remember? Mason, this is too crazy. Doesn't matter. Afraid you'll uh, not know how to put them on? 
Well, you don't expect me to wear these now, do you? Why not? What better way to feel at home on the range? Mason, I thought you said we were riding on the beach. Well, beach, range, it's all outdoors, isn't it? Go ahead. Make my day. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, sure, yeah. How do I, uh... Well, here then, okay, yeah. That's backwards. Oh. Um, there you go. All right. You just step into them. Yeah. Right leg first. Good. Very good. Next leg. <laughs> You've got it. All right. And the shoes and all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me get the buckle. Okay. Now you, uh, you tell me when it feels right. Okay. Now how am I supposed to know what they feel like? <laughs> Mason, do you have any idea how silly I feel? Them fighting words, ma'am. Here we go. Hmm. Think you're all set. Oh, well, yeah, people are going to think that I got lost on my way to a rodeo. <laughs> there aren't going to be any people where we're going. We'll have it all to ourselves. It'll be just you, me, the horses, and I'll see if I can arrange for some tumbling tumbleweeds. <laughs> well, okay, partner, let's hit the trail. All right. Um, do I leave my six guns here or what? Oh, I don't think you'll need them, deputy. Let's go. Well, I don't know. I mean, if anybody sees me like this, I might just drill you full of holes. Hey, hey, what Hi. are you doing? You know, you're not supposed to be on your feet so much. I'm okay. No, you're not okay. You're limping, and that means your back is tired. Honey, I just can't sit here. That's all I do. Okay, here, have a cup of tea. No, no, not right now. Honey, you have got to stop worrying about this thing with the lockages. Baby, this thing with the lockages could end up with me trying to explain to a judge why uh, he shouldn't lock me up and try to throw away the key. Any minute now they're going to find out how this whole mix-up got started and your troubles will be over. Mm. And I, for one, will demand a written apology. Somehow I can't see Augusta Lockridge begging my forgiveness. Well, maybe she'll decide that you demand a little more respect now that you're an almost married man. Come here. You're right. I am, aren't I? <laughs> and you're almost a married woman. Mm. I'd like to be a, a November bride. Mm? Oh, would you? Do you think that's too soon to go to the altar? No, not at all. Oh, which altar is it going to be? And uh, by the way, how many friends have you invited? Well, I didn't decide everything without you. Uh, no. What's your pleasure, Mr. Wallace? Well, let's see. Uh, I guess the church would have to be somewhere nearby since we're going to have the uh, reception here afterwards. You want to have the reception here? Well, unless your mother would mind. I... No, no, Mom wouldn't mind, but, you know, this is not the largest place on earth. How, how many people do you think we could squeeze in here? Well, baby, it's not like we have uh, huge families, and I'm pretty sure we, we decided that this is just going to be a few friends. A very few friends? Okay, I gather that you're not no, finding no, okay. a small way. Okay, 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 it can be small, but not minute, okay? Honey, mm -hmm. I'm just afraid that I'm not going to be able to afford too much. I mean, let's face it, the odds are uh, I may not have a job. You are not going to lose your job over something you didn't do. <sighs> Honey, it doesn't matter what you believe. If the lockages don't believe me, I'm finished. All right, it's just a theory. I was thinking about this last night. How about this? What if it isn't a mistake? What if somebody took those withdrawal slips, mm. those blank ones with your signature on it, and filled in large cash amounts and cashed them against the corporation's cash reserves? If that's true, then all we have to do is find out whose hand was in the cookie jar. Or her hand. So we're both talking about... Augusta, that's right. She hates you. And we have every reason to believe it's her. Remember what I was saying? Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll get that. Look at you. I didn't expect you to be up and around. Yeah, Julia, come on in. Oh, thanks. I thought you'd be uh, sitting around, loafing around with your feet up, reading a good book, which is why I brought you this good book. Yeah. You look wonderful. Hey, you. Hi, How are Tim? you? I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, does this guy ever sit down? Not often enough. Oh. Did I come at a bad time? 
No. No, 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 uh, no not no. at all. Uh, f thanks a lot for this. Uh, we're just forgetting our manners, oh, Amy. Oh, yeah. Would you like to sit down? I make a mean cup of tea here. No, thanks. Let me, let me take a wild guess. You've talked to Warren. Yeah. Darn it, why didn't he wait till we had more information? So you know about the money that's missing. Oh, Augusta and Lionel called from Switzerland and we had a brief discussion, oh. but I assured them that Brick was not responsible. Well, thanks a lot, Julia, but unfortunately my name's at the bottom of those withdrawal slips. Right there is plain as day, and I don't know how I'm going to explain that. You think you were set up? I think it's obvious. Any idea who? Yeah, I've got a real good idea. Yeah, you see, the thing that drives me crazy is I just can't figure out why anybody would like to even try to do this to me. Listen, you, you know that I'll help you if you need it. I'm, I'm more than willing. Well, I think that might be a little tricky, Julia. Why? Well, you're part of the family that's accusing me. I, I doubt they'd appreciate finding you on my side. I'm certainly not going to be on their side if I think they're wrong. It's really good to hear. Brick has been driving himself crazy worrying about this thing. He's afraid that when Lionel and Augusta get back from Europe, they're going to land on him with both feet. I wish I could tell you you're wrong, but I'm afraid you're right. Hey, you survived that accident, didn't you? Well, I am going to make sure that you survive this one, okay? <laughs> I don't know, he probably hasn't gotten home from work yet. We're still working on Lucerne time, mon petit maman. <laughs> well, I sure hated to cut that trip short. Did we have a good time yes, or what? Yes, we did until we got that call from Warren. I want to find out if he knows anything about that miserable business. Hello? Hey! Hey, hey you guys you are, are back. Hey. How are you? Sweetheart. Oh, good to see you. God, you look terrific. Thanks. I wasn't expecting to see you for a couple of weeks. What happened? What happened is that we went to the bank in Switzerland. And when we did that, we got the first plane back. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know you're going to find it hard to believe, Warren, because I had a little trouble myself. It's very shocking to realize that there's someone in your midst. Well, so tell me. Tell me what happened. The brick Wallace we thought we knew so well is a lying thief. And nothing's going to make me happier than to see him in jail. Now, look at the dates, Warren. Here. There's 10,000 withdrawn from the corporate account, 10,000 deposited in the Swiss account. Another one, 15,000 out, 15,000 in. It's, it's just like clockwork. Yeah, it's a bris brick open a Swiss bank account. I mean, how could he think he could get away with something like that? Mm. Oh, that's what I'd like to know. Must have been desperate. Uh, he might just as well have written himself a check for a million bucks and taken a hike. I don't know. The only reason I can think of is that he thought that we nobody would be looking at this account. For yep. long you know, this this was the one account that he had sole control over. I mean, he probably thought that no one would pay any attention to it as long as the amounts weren't too great at any one time. I'm glad somebody at the bank had their wits about them notified you. Yeah. You know, he just seemed so shocked, though, when I told him his name was on those withdrawal slips. Yeah? Well, his name is also on these deposit slips. I mean, the evidence is there. It's staring us in the face. I can't look away. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it, Dave? I don't know. I, I feel like going to the cops and handing the whole thing over to them, but out of respect for my mother, I suppose I should talk to Brick Wallace first. Yeah, well, he had to go back to the hospital. You know that. He just got home. Yes, you told us. He also has made plans to marry Amy. On our money, huh? Yeah, well, look, poor Amy. I mean, this is going to hit her pretty hard, don't you think? Oh, maybe she was in on it. How do we know? They could have a quaint little wedding behind bars. Things like that are done, aren't they? Prisoners marrying guards and all that sort of thing. Well, I'll make it a point to be there. Make sure there's no hacks on the wedding cake. Huh? I wish there was something I could start working on right now. No, I prefer that you just stay out of it, Julia. No, I'm not going to pass on this. Besides, I owe, I owe Amy, Amy a favor. For what? Saving my life on a shipwreck, oh, no big deal, oh, but yeah. I thought one good turn. Well, we'll keep it in mind, but I just don't know what you can do, Julia. For starters, I can look at the so-called evidence against you. No, I don't want you to do that. Besides, how do you know I didn't take the money? Because you're smart and you're sane, and it takes a very deluded individual to become an embezzler because they almost always get caught. No, I am going to start right now trying to dig up some stuff for you, all right? I think it makes sense to do it before Lionel and Augusta, you know, get back from Europe. Good see idea. Me. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check with Warren and see how far he's gotten on his research. Can I use your phone? Yeah, it's right over there. Thank you. You see, we have nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. We have Julia on our side. Everything's gonna be fine. Hello. Warren? No, it's Lionel. Lionel? 
Oh, no. What are you, what are you doing home so soon? We found the money that was withdrawn, Julia. We know what happened to it. It's everything we suspected and more. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Rick Wallace has repaid the kindness his family has shown him by trying to bleed us dry behind us, our back. I've never seen anything like it. Look, I think there's more to this than meets the eye. All right, so don't do anything when I'm in your wife. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Where are you going? I got a few things to say to Lion Lana. You're not supposed to even in the house. That's too bad I'm going. I'll go go with you. No, Uh, I think this is something that I should handle by myself, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I guess we'll take my car. I hope Julia doesn't complicate things. Yeah, how? She likes Brick. She's perfectly capable of getting very sentimental and confusing the issue. Oh, my darling. No, nothing is going to confuse the issue. Believe me, I, I, I will take care of everything. Uh, didn't I take care of those hotel reservations in Venezia? As a matter of fact, would you explain that to me since you don't happen to speak Italian? I use a little elegant sign language. <laughs> oh, I bet you just flirted outrageously with a girl behind No, this. I didn't. I didn't flirt with anybody except you for the last two weeks. You, a lovely woman standing in front of me who looks younger and more beautiful than I've seen here since I can remember. (laughs) I'm glad you're in such good form, even though we are back to reality. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where you have it wrong. That was reality, and this is reality, and we're going to keep it that way. We just lost sight of it for a little while, but we're going to get it back. We are? Yes, we are. Oh, I hope so. We have been waking up every morning, bathed in sunlight, dreaming of ways of pleasing each other, and we're going to do the same thing right now. Can we? Can we really? Of course we are. As long as we don't lose sight of what's important. We're not going to think about business. We're not going to think about what we own or the people we know or anything but us. Not Sophia. You haven't mentioned her name in two weeks. Don't start now. Not even Brandon. Not even Brandon. Mm. I'm beginning to think it might even be possible. <laughs> oh. Then again? <laughs> I guess. Ah, a little sooner than I expected. We might as well get it over with. <laughs> Sooner the better, huh? even talked to the guy that used to be Angel's lieutenant, dude named Solo. Said nobody's seen Angel since last night. Yeah, well, he still may show. I'll wait for him. 
Solo said you're on Angel's list. Oh. So? So you better start believing it. What am I supposed to do, hide? Why don't you take a vacation till everything blows over? Sure, and leave you here alone. That's a great idea, man. Better yet, why don't you take the vacation? He doesn't want me. He wants you. He's not so crazy about you either. Check out the scars on your arm. Look at your eye, man. I think it's a good idea if you made yourself scarce about now. Forget about it. I'm not leaving you here alone. Look, Danny, you helped me out a lot. I appreciate it. I think it's time to beat it, really. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. Look, it, don't talk so tough. You'll live longer. You think I'll get in the way? I, I think that... I think that your mama will skin me alive. Oh, come on, I'm not serious, man. Only a fool would mess with Rosa Andrade. She made me promise a long time ago that I'd look out for you. Every time she thinks I'm slipping up, she reads me the riot act. It's, it, I'm locked in. What can I tell you? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Good. Promise me one thing. What's that? You won't do anything stupid. You'll take care of yourself. I don't think I got any choice. Somebody's got to keep you and your big mouth in line. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so take care of yourself. Well, Cruz, your nurse friend ought to be here any time now. Better be soon, man, because I'm getting lonely. <laughs> I could have stayed out there all night. Well, I tried to persuade you. Mason, next time, let's do just what you said. We'll take a picnic, we'll tie up the horses, we'll build a campfire. You name the day. <sighs> Boy, that beach was beautiful. Still out there, waiting. No, 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 no. I have to open up the clinic. I do. And in fact, if I don't go change right now, I'm going to be late. I'm telling you I didn't take the money. It's pointless to deny it. Bro. You're the sole administrator of the account. It was your responsibility. Most people didn't even know it existed. You knew. You both knew. So did Warren. Probably a few other people, too. What are you saying? That we stole our own money? Well, Brick sure didn't steal anything. Well, you expect us to take his word for it after everything that's turned up here? Why don't we give Brick a chance to talk and let's hear his side of the story? I know it looks incriminating that my signature was on this withdrawal slips, but the reason for it is because I pre-signed all of them in case of an emergency. Now, I think that someone came along and found them and decided they had a golden opportunity. That would mean that somebody had to break into the safe. Well, have you checked to see if the safe was broken into? Or were you so sure that you were right you hadn't even bothered? Right. After Switzerland, it wasn't even necessary. Oh, what does Switzerland have to do with you this? You know perfectly well. You know what I'm going to dread the most, Brick? What's that? Telling my mother. Minx is going to be devastated. Yeah. I mean, how do we tell that woman that the, wo the, 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 the person that she treated like a son has turned around and slapped her in the face? And I'm telling you, I didn't do anything of the kind. There's proof, Brick. Uh, what proof? Look, a few uh, withdrawal slips signed by me doesn't constitute proof of anything. If Brick took the money, then where is it? Yeah, go ahead. Search everything I've got. You won't find a red cent. We don't have to search anything. That's what we're trying to tell you, Brick. Uh, we found out about the Swiss bank account. <laughs> My what? This is unbelievable. The jig, as they say, is up. Let me see these. I never saw these things before in my life. Rick, your signature is on. Let me again see it. Again. Is this your writing? It looks a little shaky. Well, if it isn't, it's damn close. So you think it's a forgery? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I wonder who hates me enough in this room to uh, go to all the trouble of trying to frame me. What are you looking at? You've wanted Brick out of the corporation all along. You'd do anything to ruin him, wouldn't you? My dear, I don't have to do anything. He seems to be doing a very good job all by himself.
scream and you're dead, understand? Understand? Come on. Now listen to me. You're going to make a call, all right? You're going to make a phone call. To who? Shut up. I don't want you to talk. I want you to listen, so listen. Your friend Cruz wanted me to meet him at the beach. I like it here better, okay? So what we're going to do is I'll dial the number, all right? And when, when the bartender answers, you tell him you want to leave a message for Mr. Castillo. Okay, all you have to do, all you have to do is read it. I can't read it. Shut your mouth and take this note. Thank you. Okay. Now just say what you have to say on the phone, all right? I'd like to leave a message for Cruz Castillo. Tell him your name. Tell him your name. Th this is Mary Duvall. Mr. Castillo is right here. You want me to get him? Uh, uh, no, I don't have time. Tell him to come to the clinic right away. He knows where it is. Tell him it's urgent. Well, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Huh. Now, now all we have to do is wait. That's all she, she said? Just come to the clinic? She said she was in a hurry, couldn't talk. And why don't I like the sound of that? Thanks. Please don't hurt him. Oh, no, I've got a lot to do before I hurt him. See, first he's got to get down on his knees to me, okay? Because he's going to pay for what he did to me in front of my boys. And then we find a way to hurt him, all right? And see, you get to watch the whole thing, just like a movie, for free. Who's there? It's Mason Capwell. Mason, run! Stop. Come here. Come here! Now stop right there. I'm gonna shoot. I'll take her place. Just let the lady go, and I'll stay here. Yeah, right. Let her go run to the cops. What do you think I am? She won't go to the cops. She'll give you her word. Her word? Her word means as much as your word. Now, come up, come over here. Get over there next to her and stay out of the way. Okay, good. All right. Are you all right? Don't talk to her! A little young to be pulling this off, aren't you? How old are you? I'm old enough. I'm a lawyer. Just wondering if you'd be tried as a juvenile or if you'd have to do hard time. I'm not doing any time, so don't worry about it. Holding oh, hostages at gunpoint is a, a big-time offense. And if somebody gets hurt, forget it. They'll throw the book at you. Yeah, but see, they're going to have to catch me first, right? How are you going to get out of here without being seen? There'll be witnesses, kid. The street was crawling with people. Hey, shut up. I know this neighborhood. Nobody's going to talk. You can't be sure of that. Only takes one. Hey, I've heard enough. Now, don't make me use this. One more thing. Mason, don't. Oh, I think this is a bright young man, Mary. He might be interested in a proposition. No, not, not, not from you. I'm, I'm not interested in a proposition. I told you before I was a lawyer. You put the gun down, I'll plead your case in court. This can all be over with. You just put the gun down, let the lady go. Forget all about it, it'll be over. No, it's not over. I haven't even started yet, so just shut your mouth. He's waiting for Cruz. It's Cruz. He's what he wants. Do you want me to put both of you away before he gets here? Because I'll do it. Just keep on talking. Stay right here. There he is. There's Cruz. Now, nobody say a word, okay? Oh, you hear me? You try to warn him like you did your friend here, lady. I am going to blow you away. Welcome to the party, Cruz. Why don't, why don't you two go over there and join your brown buddy? Now, oh, what's this? You got a gun. You took your time getting here, Cruz. 
That's not very polite. A party can't start with the, when the guest of honor isn't here. Look, Bato, you got business with me. I'm looking forward to it. These people have nothing to do with it, so let them go. No way. No way. These people are going to see what the big cop looks like when he's scared like a little boy in school. When he has to beg for his life. You, sister, come on up here. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my friends, too, and have them come over here, too, you see, because I, I need an audience. Now, you say anything or you touch anything, you know what's gonna happen to Sister Nurse here, right? Okay, dial this number. 555-6517. One, seven, pay attention. Can I hand me the phone? Chicos, is that you, man? Yeah, this is, this is Angel. I'm at the clinic, man. Now listen, you get, you get Ricardo and Miguel and you come over here right now. Because Cruz Castillo is going to put on a good show, man. And I want you boys to be here. <laughs> Okay, hurry up, okay? I'm waiting, man. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Hey, man, I'm just looking out the window, that's all. Yeah? Well, get, get, get away from here. Get away from there. Listen, man, you see, that's my car right outside, and that's my lady sitting inside waiting for me. If I don't go tell her something, she's going to start to worry. <laughs> you, I'm not going to leave this room. Okay, okay, man. Okay. But I'll tell you, I, you know, I told her that I thought there was going to be trouble in here. Too much time goes by, she's probably gonna call the cops. Is that what you wanna see happen? Wait, where's your car? It's right across the street, man, can't you see? Yeah, I, I don't, I can't, what are you, Mason! Brooke, I don't want you to say another word without a lawyer present. You need an attorney right away. It's not gonna do any good. He is entitled to representation and he is not gonna be railroaded. Whose side are you on anyway? Try the truth. Here's the truth, right here, Julian. Come on, Warren, let's put it away. We need to show it to the police to file a complaint. Look, don't worry, all right? Uh, it's, you need a lot to happen before the police get involved. Oh, okay, Amy, will you get the car? I'll be out in a minute. Julian, please go with her. Not another word. I'll be right out. There's a few things that I just couldn't say in front of Julia. Why? She seems to be your best friend You're all the time. You're her sister. I don't want to make this any tougher on her than it already is. Just say what you have to say. Come on, Augusta. We both know that you set me up. But I promise you, I'll never let you get away with it. I set you up? That's right. Amy's been saying it for days, but I couldn't believe it. Oh, Rick, where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Let's start with the night that Amy caught you in the hospital room. You never could explain what you were doing there. You had a terrible accident. I came to see how you were doing. Bull. Oh, please. This is ridiculous. You're, you're cornered. You're striking out at anything. I'm not going to listen to any more of this. I'm... You had the papers with you that night, Augusta. See, Amy remembers seeing them. Do you remember, Augusta? Do you remember the papers? I thought you were leaving. I was just asking your uh, sweet wife your question. She's having a problem finding the answer. Oh, God, I hope he's all right. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. You better give it up now, Mom. This bitch is going to be crawling with cops. No, and I don't think they're going to like what they're going to find when they you get here. You don't want to hurt that? anybody, man. You better, are, you, are you daring me? Diego is too young to read about in the papers, but somebody will tell him. Some kid will come up to him and say he'll never see his big brother again because they got him for murder. You better shut up about Diego, okay? Listen, listen. Just I just talked up. to Diego just the other day. He was walking home from the cemetery with your mama, man. They were putting flowers all over Geraldo's grave. Your mama was so sad. She's still mourning the son she lost. How do you think she's going to feel when she loses you too, man? You think she's going to be able to take that? Long I'm telling you, the penitentiary is not like reform school. It's not the same thing. You go there, you're going to be dead. Shut up! Just shut your mouth! Now get over here! Don't move, all right? I want you to stay just like this when they get here, okay? I want to pull this trigger with you in this position, okay? I was there when they took Geraldo. I watched your brother die because he shut wouldn't up, listen. Bruce. He would just... If he'd have put the gun down, he'd be okay, man, but he wouldn't do it. He took seven bullets right here. It was a waste. What are you talking about, huh? Waste? You know they still honor my brother even today? And you want to know why? Because when he died, he took a bunch of cops with him. And see, man, I am going to be just like my brother, okay? I am!
in position. 30 seconds of counting. Just watch out for the girl. Over. We're going to announce and give him a chance to come out unarmed. Be careful. Good luck. Over. Must be some girl. I thought Captain was going to insist on coming along for the ride. Good thing the chief talked him out of it. Now, the last thing we need is some civilian trying to be a hero. Ready to announce ourselves? Go ahead. Angel! The police! You're surrounded! I repeat, you are surrounded! There's no way you can escape, Angel! Come out with your hands up! Man, let me talk to him. You don't move, you just stay right where you are, all right? Look, 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 I'll go to the window. They'll look. see I'm all right, I'll tell them to back off. You need time, I know. That's what I'll tell them. I'll tell them that Mary and I are okay, that we're not harmed in any way. It'll look a lot better for you. Okay. I'm warning you, man. You try anything, I swear. I swear. Man, you try anything. I won't do anything, man. Be completely cool, all right? All right, go ahead. This is Castillo in here. I'm all right, you guys. We're, we're both all right. Mr. Duval's fine, too. Just, we need a little time to talk. Maybe, maybe they didn't hear you. No, they did. They, they stopped broadcasting, didn't they? Yeah, but you said you weren't a cop, and I, I don't no, think they're going to listen to no, you. No, 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 no. They will listen to me. Well, they better listen to you. Because I'm telling you, if they don't back off, man... See, we're all gonna go out in one big explosion. <laughs> I mean it. Okay? You believe that, Castillo? Where does he get off? He quit weeks ago. Yeah, well, he's talking to the guy. I think we ought to just let him talk. Maybe can get somebody out of there in one piece. He wasn't doing such a hot job before. That's why Capo came to us. And yeah, we move in now. The kid might lose it. I think we ought to let Cruz see what he can do. This is his territory. Look, look, looks like you shut him up. Yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look, why don't we do like I told him we were going to do? Let, let's, let's talk. I, I, I don't have anything to say to you, okay? So well, I don't want to talk. I got a big mouth, man. Why don't you let me run my mouth for a little while, okay? But, but, but let her go, because it'd be better if it's just man on man, just you and me talking. Oh, no. Oh, no, see... She's, she might be my ticket out of here. It's okay. Yeah, don't, don't cry. What makes you think you're gonna get out of here, man? I mean, your brother made it this far, and then he couldn't go any farther. He could have, but he just he couldn't put down that gun, so it didn't work for him. You have a chance to do the smart thing right now, you know? Don't blow it. Listen, you put down the gun, and you and I can walk out of here with our heads up. There'd be no handcuffs, no, no rough stuff. They treat us both with respect, you and me, man, I, I promise you. But you gotta make a decision now. You gotta choose to do the right thing. Those guys out there aren't gonna wait forever, you know? I mean, they remember your brother. They, they're probably expecting you to make the same mistake. Okay. They're still there, no? They're not gonna go away. Thinking about Geraldo right now? No. You know, I, I was at his funeral. Did you know that? I saw you there. Oh, yeah? I don't remember. Yeah, you were sitting next to your mama and Diego, and, uh, and you know, you did something that day that I'll never forget, okay? But I, uh, yeah, I, I was there, and I, I was wishing that, that Geraldo could have been there to see it, because, uh, you know, he would have been proud of you, how, how brave you were, and, and, and you were so honest. What are you talking about? Oh, what what you, are you, ta you, what you, are you talking about? You know those punks that you run with, man? Those punks, you know, they couldn't have done what you did that day. It's like they lost their touch. You had to be human or something. I tell you, I, when I saw you, I thought to myself, Angel is a man now because he's not ashamed to cry. 
<laughs> if you don't stop talking, I, I, I will, I will kill you. No, wait a minute. You don't want to kill me, man. You don't want to kill me. You want to put I, the I, gun I will, down. You don't want to kill me. I know you loved your brother. I know you loved. Him. When a, he died a piece of you died too. I know that. You don't want your mama and Diego to go through the same thing. You don't want them to get shut a broken up, heart the way you had a broken please, heart. Just please shut up. Will you shut, shut your up. mouth? You don't have to follow in your brother's footsteps you just to prove shut you your love mouth. Returning to Santa Barbara at the same time on Monday. In just a moment on Sky One, Stacy needs to practice her massage in the bold and the beautiful. Stay with us.